Good morning, I uh, am Nikki from Grace's House. This is a little impromptu live for you this morning. Didn't really have anything planned and then I thought, oh, I've, I just, I've got to do a transfer this morning. I just, I'm feeling a transfer. So um, I thought I would have a little go at a set of drawers. Well, a cabinet, mm, it's got drawers and cupboards. Not really sure what to call this piece. Small sideboard, perhaps. Um, as you come on, just drop a little hello in the comments so I can say hello back and we can have a little chat. So I, um, I worked on this piece yesterday on a live on the Dixie Bell page. So this is oak, tiger oak on the front of the drawers. Hi Kelly. Um, everything's been sanded back as much as I can and then I've done a white wash with the Voodoo Gel Stain. So this is, this is the piece here. I'll show you it better in a minute. But I just thought it could do with some more details. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Lisa. Um, lovely to see you all this morning. It's a bit more mild today. Cool, yesterday was cold. Today, completely different, completely. Hi, Greta. Um, Kelly, I've already said hello to you. I saw you pop on. So I have got, I haven't used this one before. It's Paris Valley. So it's just... I'm going to show you the back so that you can see a close-up of most of it. Some of that's blowing out in the, the light. But this is just a monochrome. It's kind of uh, line drawings and you've got some labels. Sort of all, there's big pieces. You could technically cut these sections out and there's, there's bits that you could use. I've used it as a kind of a whole piece. I have pre-cut it. So I've cut, the, I'm going to show you some of the bits. So that's, that's the pretty floral that's in there. You see that? So you could actually paint over this. Morning, Suzanne. You could paint, paint once you've put the transfer on, you could paint over it or use um, like the oil pastels, I think you can use on them. So here is, I've got the right one, yeah. So there's another piece of a label there. I'm going to use them on the draw sides. So the piece in itself, I'm gonna keep relatively simple. It's got this washed out finish, little bit of a sort of French feel like it's been left outside and baked in the sun. So that's the idea for the outside. I just felt like it needed a little bit of something extra. And you know me, I love a peekaboo. So I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I've already done. Ooh, look at that. How gorgeous. So as you can see, hi Patricia. This one's got um, a sort of a big label and there's the bottom half. And it's just a really, really pretty transfer. There's lots of detail, nothing's too overpowering. Kelly, sold out with your retailer. Oh gosh, you've already been looking at it this morning. What are the chances? Oh no. Um, have a look at my link because I know, well, you could, you could probably find someone a bit more closer to you still. Um, but if you can't, have a look at the link because we, we you can do. Yeah, I know it's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> Zoe, you've popped on, cheeky. So this is how you, <laughs> So this is what we're working on today. So I've done two to show you already. I'm gonna pull this drawer out. I'm just gonna pull, the, sorry for the noise. I really love using transfers, using transfers on drawer sides. It's really, really effective. So I'm just going to pop that, I need another blanket, Ta da another blanket, just so that I don't scuff up what I've already done. So I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see more of what I'm doing. I'm just going to do a little bit of a tilt, not too much, there we go, you can see that pretty well, can't you? Leslie, thank you. So the pair that I've cut here with the rose, I really want that to sort of maintain, so that's going to go on this side. I don't have to worry so much about what goes on these two because there's this this drawer, there's, there's not another one to follow on. So I've cut pre-cut this pair. Although they do match up, it doesn't matter. This is the, the least pretty of the two sort of cuts that I've done. So I'm gonna, where's my tool? I have my transfer tool with me this morning, but you can just use the, the wooden stick that comes in. So that's the, that's the stick that comes in. Really nice, sturdy, thick, lolly stick type of thing. That does a good job. I've just got one of these because I do do more. So they're just quite handy. So I'm gonna make sure I've got my drawer up the right way and I don't put my transfer on upside down. 
Although, this has got writing both ways and upside down probably you get away with on this one. I would rather it be up the right way. <clears throat> and again, if you, if you find the idea of a big transfer daunting, um, I'm all for cutting, cutting the pieces up. Um, and this is, a, this is another way of cutting it up. It's really, really effective. But it just get, it gets you used to using them. Is it worth buying the tool? Uh, Lisa, oh, here in the UK, I think they're about £6. To be honest, for £6, yes. If you're doing lots of transfers, I think um, they're well worth, worth it. And I like the, the corners. If, you, if you're going round, you see the little, the kind of index. It just gives you different, if you're, if you're trying to get in, I've got no details, but imagine you were trying to get into this detail here. It just it just makes it easier to kind of push push your transfer into corners and I'm going to say nooks and crannies and I'm sure um, if Michelle's watching I'm sure that's her favourite little saying I think nooks and crannies is her knife she likes that one so I've just always give it a little push down because what you don't want to do is just place it go for your tool and then it shifts some of it's stuck some of it's not so I always give it a nice push down. And the heat of your hand will help activate the glue as well. Hi there, you love watching my live, thank you. Oh, you're from Dubai, wow. And this is just, this just works so beautifully, I think, with the, um, with the washed, the fronts, it's just subtle. And I decided that I'm going to leave the legs, can you see down here? You see the leg, I'm actually going to leave, um, the legs in the dark original finish partly because i'm a little bit lazy and i don't want to have to sand them but actually i, I really like the contrast so i've i've treated the um the, the legs with hemp oil just to enhance and and you know reprotect everything that's there and um there was a bit of a oh what am i going to do with the hardware because i've cleaned it and the hardware hasn't cleaned up very nicely i would not be leaving it as it is so I've cleaned it still, sprayed it with the oil rubbed, um, oil rubbed bronze, which is a bit of a favourite in my stash for hardware. It's by Rust-Oleum. So I've sprayed it with that and I've got somewhere, I'll put it down. I've got the white gold, um, the Finnabar Art Alchemy Wax that I'm just going to hit the high points on. So the dark will tone back with the dark on the draw sides, the dark of the legs. I think it will just give it a really nice balance. So if anyone wants to see how I did this, have a look back on yesterday. So you can either go to the Dixie Bell page for the live or you can just check on my page. See, I don't know if you saw that. When I lifted it up, it was still stuck to, mostly stuck to the, the, um, the top sheet. And that's why it's always a good idea to peel back slowly because if you do have a piece that's not see here if you can see it it's not it's not stuck down properly and if you rip that off then you can you you jeopardize if it's a big one where there's a big piece that's not released then you jeopardize your whole stencil but if you do it slowly and surely then you can save anything that's not quite released from the top uh, from the top sheet and I always go back afterwards and use the heat of my fingers or, or my thumb just to kind of, um, and this helps with reducing the halo down. So you just give it a bit of a burnish. Hi, Jackie. Have you just joined or have you only just said hello? <laughs> so there's lots of little, little pieces on this one where there's, bits of letters and dashes in the in the writing. So you've just got to be really careful. Out of everything on transfers, little pieces of writing. Hi, Jennifer. Um, they're always the bits that, that you have to spend more time on, I find. This is, I've had this stenc uh, stencil, I've had this um, transfer for a while and, well, I've, I've got loads, you know I've got loads in my stash, but 
it came to me and I, it, I do my best thinking, I think. Uh, I only just got the notification. It was a surprise one, Jackie, I'll let you off. I think I do my best thinking kind of in the, in the few minutes before I'm fully awake in the morning. So I, I'm often awake early. Um, and Helen will attest to waking up to finding really early messages from me because that's when my brain kicks in. So I ask her questions knowing that she obviously is not going to answer them until she gets up. Um, but yeah, I'm often awake, not out of bed, but I'm often awake oh, at least five o'clock in the morning. And it's when I do all my kind of planning for the day. But this came to me at that time this morning. And as I was doing this one, this side, I thought, oh, I could do that on a live. I'll show you guys. But I am one for adding the detail to the drawer sides. I do love it. Just a little bit that, that's wrapping around the edge there, so I just um, use the, use that top paper still. This is crazy. It's so early. Oh, how? What time are you? Where are you watching from? Because for me, oh, do you know what? I didn't even look what the time is. It's probably only about eleven o'clock here, isn't it, guys? Is it that time? Somebody tell me what time it is now <laughs> in the UK. <laughs> I would guess that it's around 11 o'clock, isn't it? And that wiggly line. You just have to pay a little bit of attention to the, the thinner, the smaller pieces. Lisa, the wax, yeah, there we go, 10.56. Yes, get in, not a bad guess. It's Now it's dried off, it's just an even more subtle, isn't it? Kelly, yeah, you're 10 p.m., 10.55, yeah, so... It, see, this is a good time for life for me here, but I do appreciate that it's it's early for some of you, if you're watching from America. So it's about the same time when I did my live on the Dixie Bell page yesterday. That little S doesn't want to release. There we go. Let's give it a little. There we go. And I often will try and peel from different directions. I've said to you guys before, sometimes when I used to do it, I'd peel all back in one way and then the end bit would kind of curl under and there's nothing I can do. And um, so I kind of go at it from all angles now if I can, so that I don't, that doesn't happen to me. Two lives in one week, Sharon, look at that. 6 a.m. in Ohio, I'm really sorry, Suzanne, I'm <laughs> sorry. Six o'clock for you, Kelly, I too should be painting. Oh, you've already had your day of work. Yeah, of course you have. There we go, so there's that one done. So I'm just gonna make sure I've gone over the edges. So there's no, there's no bits sticking out over the edges. Oh, Jackie, you missed the beginning, didn't you? So we're using Paris Valley. Yeah, it's sort of rustic in the, in um. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lime or white any you know dull down the um. The the draw sides. But I just thought the transfer would suit it really nicely. And you know, yesterday, Jackie, we were talking about the dark of the legs. I have kept them dark. And I've hemp oiled them. I just thought that would tie in nicely with the darkness and give a nice balance to the darkness of that. And, um, and also I've gone with oil rubbed bronze for the handles. So I'm going to pop that one in. And 
and I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the flower on this one um, because this so this is this side so I've got my my bits that line up together so this is the rose part of that Suzanne oh don't be sorry <laughs> thank you so this is the one I'm going to use on this on these bits so I'm doing the matching pairs so that if for any reason the drawers are ever pulled out together you get you get the, the, the pattern follows on so there we go and it is just amazing I mean you know I love the the transfers with all the colorful flowers in who wouldn't but it's amazing how effective these linear kind of pencil sketch ones like or ink ink sketchy type of drawings just so effective so I'll, st I'll, I'll, I'll use the stick on this one just to show you I mean you know they, they do work they come with the transfers you get a stick per transfer as you can imagine I've got loads um, and they do work well but you can sort of obviously you can't you're gonna cover a bigger space yes look perfect peekaboo I just think it's so subtle and the fact that it hasn't got color you know this this whole piece is about the fact that things have just kind of washed out and faded over time uh jennifer do you put anything on the transfers after applying oh yes jennifer yeah so mostly for transfers i use a top coat such as the dixie bell um, flat or satin clear coats the recommended is not to use gator hide and not to use like an oil-based product um, waxes do work I'm personally, in general, not, uh, I'm not a, a, a big waxer for transfers. However, for these, because it's drawer size, I am going to wax because it will also assist in keeping the drawer running smooth. So generally, I would use a flat or satin clear coat by Dixie Belle. Um, I've also used um, the Polyvine, Wax finish varnishes work really nicely. I've never had a problem with those. Um, oh, okay, so I've covered that one. Now we need ideas for the sticks. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I have got an idea, actually. Like, imagine if you got a plant pot and you stuck them all around the edges of a plant pot and you could give yourself, like, a rustic-looking planter and you could... Do a whitewash on them. I think that would look cute. There you go, look at that, off the cuff. <laughs> or you could stack them up and make like little square planters. I think that would be cute as well. Or just little little boxes. Um, you know, I've got I've got a box of tissues here. You could perhaps make a box of tissues thing. What's Jackie said? I can build a house with mine. What's that? Because I've got so many. Yeah, I could probably build a shed. <laughs> They're great for stirring paint, though, in fairness, uh, and stains. I wouldn't use a pail of paint, although I haven't had any problems. I wouldn't want the colour to come out of this. Kelly, there you go, paint sticks. Great minds. I think we do this often, this great minds thing. Um, so, yeah, they do. They're great for stirring your, or mixing up your stain or paint or sample sticks because I often have to buy batches of the the giant lolly sticks to send out samples to customers but actually I could just use these that'd be great full of ideas I do try morning kept missing you you use them to mix paint too yeah and you know Gracie's always wanting stuff to do craft with they get used in our house they do they just they're just used She makes things, you know, that have got, you know, she'll make, um, you know, like you get a selfie kit and you print out like a nose or a, or a mouth and different glasses and stuff. You could stick them and hold them up to your face and a, or a, a hat for selfies. 
<laughs> I'm not sure that's such a good idea. <laughs> Who's got little girls in their family? Have you got daughters, granddaughters, nieces? Have you seen what my t-shirt says? Oh, hang on, there you go. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's only the girl, the people that have got girls that will know what that's relevant to. Gracie very much loved it when I bought it back from the shop. Jeanette, you're late, don't worry. We don't care. Well, we do care that you've missed the beginning, but we don't mind that you're late. No need to apologise. So you see how that rose? Oh my God, look how gorgeous. Kelly, you've got a 17-year-old? Shut up. How is that possible? Pushing papers into corners when you're dating? Oh, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Can you borrow my idea? Uh, borrow any ideas you want. At Sharon, you like the t-shirt. Which idea is it? The one with the, 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 the plant pot sticks? Please do it, because I haven't done it yet. I'd love to see one. <laughs> I managed to get into the, just go to clothes shopping, literally three, two days before our latest lockdown. And it wasn't a nice experience because of the masks and everything, but you know, these things have to be done. There we go. And we've got another, we've got someone else with a seven, uh, 13 year old, sorry. So there we go, there's that one. And an 18 year old son. Kelly, I need some of what you're on. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving that over the natural wood. How cute. Caroline, you've got a 24-year-old and a three-year-old grandson. My goodness me. I tell you what, crafting keeps us young, guys. Um, I'm going to keep that one out just so that you can see them lined up. No, I'm not. I'll turn the piece of furniture around in a minute. Otherwise, I'm going to... And the great thing is I've got plenty of clearance here. Lisa, you've got a 31-year-old son. My goodness. There's plenty of clearance, so I'm not concerned about these transfers rubbing off. You do have to be a little bit... Um, I'm going to move my camera up again. That one doesn't want to stay up on there. Right, let me move the camera up first. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Jill, you've just seen you've seen us by chance. Excellent. So can you see that okay? Oh. The rose is absolutely beautiful. Right, so again, I'm making sure I've... Oh, I'm hoping I didn't lose too many. Oh, honestly, guys, the last couple of weeks, I've had a nightmare of my, my internet. And it's always when I'm live. I don't think we lost too many people. Yeah, Jennifer, that it was my end. Sorry, it's not you. It's not you. It's me. Um, so I'm making sure my drawers up the right way because this I definitely don't want to. Yeah, Sharon, it lost. It was my end. So I'm hoping you're all back now. Sorry, guys. So I'm just going to line that up. I've actually cut it a bit, a bit too deep for some reason, but I'm going to make sure that we go. So yeah, although there's a gap between the two drawers because of the frame, all good now, good, good, good. Yeah, in and out. Technology does not always play nice. And I've got a favorite end of my transfer tool, actually. This is my favorite end, this one. I don't know why. I think it I think it feels nicer in my hand. And what I'll do is I'll she'll just trim that 
because it, I can wrap a little bit of it round, but I just don't want too much of an overlap. Lisa, you missed the beginning as well, didn't you? It's Paris Valley. So it's got all of those sort of linear, let me show you the back there. You see, sort of labels and some typography. There's all sorts going on. Little kind of postage stamp detail, just all vintagey looking things. Kelly, sorry about that. Lockdown overload. Yeah, do you know what it is? It probably is everybody jumping on all at once. But it wasn't your end, it was my end for sure. You know what, I've got my heater on in here and I'm actually really warm now. You nearly snapped your tool so... <laughs> you nearly snapped it off pushing down so hard. I'm just trying to look for my... There it is. So I've just got a little craft knife. And you don't have to be particular. I am going to wrap a little bit, but I'm just going to slice quite close to their edge. Yeah, just like that. I'll wrap it round. Just a little. Caroline, you're looking forward to bells and whistles. Do you know what? I haven't, I have no idea what any of it looks like yet. It'll be, it'll be quite exciting for sure. Lisa, oh, it was using a different transfer. Um, Violet Hill, in all honesty, is one of, is, is, was a tricky one for me. And if you look at a lot of people that are using it, um, I want to kind of be to full disclosure. I did use all the text, but if you look, a lot of people cut the writing off. It's... It's really, really stubborn. And I think that's why everyone's cutting the writing off. Although it looks beautiful if you persevere, and I did. So I've done the, um, I did like that mid-century dressing table set. And it does look beautiful. But it did take me quite a while. I didn't give up either. Dying to see what they bring out. Oh, Jackie, so you're another one looking forward to bells and whistles. Yeah, it's it's re it's really going to be interesting. So it's it's there's transfers. Um, decoupage papers. I can't remember if they said rice papers or not. Mm. Denise, patience is a virtually uh, is a virtue. Sorry, you haven't got much. No, do you know what? It did test my patience a little bit, but I do think it looks fabulous at the end. Because <laughs> what I don't want you to do, Lisa, is think that you've is also is you either think you're doing something wrong or. Um, yeah, I don't want to put. I don't want you to get put off. So you might you might find it fine, but I don't want you to be put off using the transfers because you know, as a general rule, a little bit of writing not stuck there. Let's go back to that. Sam Everett, please. Oh, dear Santa, please bring me knee pads like Nikki's. Char oh, they are 
I, I say this every time someone comments on my knee pads, and I think it's usually you, um, they seriously are like the best under £10 investment for sure. Lisa, yeah, it, it, do you know what? I was really, really pleased with it, and it was worth the extra time it seemed to take. So there we go. So that's the, that's the bottom piece of the roses. Done. I'm just going to go over with my thumb. And I don't know if you can just see. I mean, you can't see a great deal of halos here. But just putting my warm thumb, just the difference between here and here. So this one I haven't done. And this one I have. I don't know if you can see that close enough. But trust me, it works. <laughs> Blossom Flight was a tricky one for you, Kelly. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Is that because you just kept on moving it around and, I don't know. I didn't find any problems with Blossom Flight. I think by the time I actually did one though, it had the grid lines on, so I don't know whether the, I don't know whether they release better. Lisa. You tried your artist hand and realised you need a transfer. Yeah, I wish I could paint. Do you know what as well? To paint this would take me 10 times or more as long as it takes to put a tra transfer on. Um, Diane, did you prep the drawer before? Boy, you go. It's cleaned. It's just all it's been, all it's had is a, is a clean. Um, and it's in really, really good condition. So I didn't need to do anything else. I'm going to, unusually, I usually clear coat over my transfers but because this is draw sides I'm going to use wax simply because although there's a lot of clearance and they glide actually really well it will just assist there um, so I'm going to wax these ones when they're done so that's that one done I will just pop this in and I'll turn it around so you can see no I don't want to push it all the way in guys do I I don't want to push it all the way in. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Oh, I've got to turn my heater off. So what? Let's just move this round. Sorry about the noise. too much and it comes out so there let's just drop the camera down so you can see a bit better how cute is that so there we go there is an easy way to add some details now I've got some I've got some bits of uh, bits left so I might pop some on the inside of the cabinet doors four sides oh so you were using quite a lot you were using yeah yeah, you had to be a bit more careful. So, really, really pleased with that. There's the piece as we are so far. And I think it, it's, it's nearly done, this piece. I've not got much left to do. So there we go. Sorry about the blip in the middle. I must, I must try and, I don't know, do a reset on my router or something, see if that helps. So, I... Um, just as a recap, we were using the Paris Valley and I've just used it to create those draw sides for some extra detail, but really subtle detail because of the finish that I've chosen to do on the piece. And if you want to buy it and you haven't yet, there's a link. You can buy that one and loads of other beautiful redesign with Prima stuff. If you've got any other questions, drop me a line. You can always drop me a message. It doesn't always have to be in the comments for any of my videos. If you haven't already, drop me a like. Um, and if you're watching on replay, give me a give me a hashtag replay. Inside of the doors, you think I think that would be cute too. Um, let's just open them up. We can say bye bye in a sec. <clears throat> There's not much going on. Just a little sliver. Any ideas for the drawer knobs? Um, they're outside actually I've spray painted them this morning so I sprayed them in oil rubbed bronze and no. don't know where I put that there it is and I'm going to use white gold to highlight the that's too close
to highlight because I think that will tie in quite nicely. Just be a bit, a bit subtle, not, not quite as full on as, say, eternal. Okay, guys, I'm going to shut off there and I hope you have a great day. Those of you that, Kelly particularly, <laughs> have a nice good night's sleep. See you all, guys. Bye.